Kia guys, welcome for a new tip. Today I talk about time lapses. I want to tell you five awesome tips to improve your time lapse video. First big tip is moving your time lapse. What I mean when I say uh, moving your time lapse, uh, you see a lot of time lapses, they are static. Um, after, after seeing that, you know, in the same position with the same landscape, maybe they can. Uh, they can be a bit boring. For example, you can use a panning time-lapse system. In, on my channel, I review some of these. For example, I review the Flowmo and even the Tones Pro. If you want, uh, there is even the DIY solution, so you can use uh, like an egg timer. I leave you all these uh, reviews um, and the DIY on um, the description of this video. Basically, with the panning time-lapse system, you just uh, set your GoPro and the panning time-lapse system is going around 360, 180 or 90 degrees or all the degrees that you want so you can move, you can change the view, the angle of your time-lapses and it's very good to improve your video of course second tip is the keyframe so you can zoom in or zoom in out in post production you can even use the keyframe on GoPro Studio as uh, I told you in one of my tip uh, zooming in or zooming out uh, in a video is a very great idea for example if you have a building or if you have a something in which you want to focus you want to focus the, the public on it you can just zoom on this part of the video Tip number three is uh, short. Uh, short is better. Short uh, time lapse. If you see on uh, on TV series, on during a film, during the best videos, time lapses are very short every time. So don't do time lapses of 30, 40 seconds in a static image, the same landscape, or maybe in a panoramic in a landscape or in an environment that's not moving a lot you know, uh, it's becoming boring for people that they see in that, so every time try to give some difference, try to move the video, zooming in, zooming out, as I said before, and even um, um, be short, be short, 10-15 uh, seconds, sometimes is, is a good time, so you can fix your time lapses, you can fix your time lapse in other part of videos just to see some particular environment or some particular landscape is a very good idea. Tip number four is about mixing different time lapses. Um, you have to create a good mix from different time lapses. So as I said before, you can change the view, you can change the image, you can uh, you can catch the public, you can catch the user to see in your video. So maybe you can zoom in in a building or zoom in in a car and then start, for example, the time lapse on this car. So you create some story, you create a kind of story in your in your time lapse. That's a very good idea. Fifth tip, last but not least, uh, very important is a solid base. You need to have a solid base. So what I recommend you to buy a tripod. It has a low of tripod. You can use a tripod for a camera. You, you can use the GoPro tripod as the three-way. You know, I use the three-way. Uh, there is the small tripod at the bottom of it. You can even uh, use the, the Gorilla Pod, for example. Uh, if you don't have um, a plan surface, you can use the Gorilla Pod so you can fix uh, in a pole, for example. You have a steady footage. Of course, the video is very good. Um, a shaking video, shaking time lapse, it's not, it's not a good idea, you know. I hope this video will help you to create awesome and amazing time lapses. So keep following me. Thumbs up for this video. Feel free to subscribe my channel and check the tips every Thursday. What else? It's all for today. Bye bye from London, UK.